66th story from the Zen Flesh, Zen Bones, written by Paul Reps. Children of His Majesty. Yamako Teshu was a tutor of the emperor. He was also a master of fencing and a profound teacher, student of Zen. Yamako Teshu was a tutor of the emperor. Tutor means teacher of the emperor. Raja the guru. But he is also a profound, a very master of fencing. Swordsman. Swordsman, he is very good in fencing. He is a master. And a profound student of Zen. Murbaga. Agashamel Bhumikar Madhyanili. Heaven and the earth, man in the center, the three, three murtis. Always a wise man, a real teacher will have three varieties. One, he is a master in his, in his own art. He is a master. And when you become master, when you make big money like a big businessman, when you become a very good teacher, you should immediately teach the emperor. The head of any other family, you should teach somebody so that he will make sure the employer, the company head will always make sure that he teaches the whole company. So here you can see Yamako Tesho, he was teaching the emperor because he was a very good fencing master. And then when you become a master, don't think the, the, your ego, your selfishness, your greed will enter your head and destroy you. Hence, he is also a profound student of Zen. He becomes a Zen. Hence, I keep telling Padma and all the senior members, Makale, Tanga, when you leave the school also till your death, wherever you are, every year take one certificate, attend one class without fail. Means become a student. When you become old, 60 years, 70 years, 80 years also, you go and attend a class, a seminar, one day certificate, three days certificate. You will be in touch with the youngsters to understand the daily routine. You become healthy. And in the healthiness, you become observant. And you will be able to share it. And when you are healthy, the children feel very good because they do not have to take the grandparents or the father and mother to the hospital when they are healthy till the last day no work no food old people they work till the last day and then they had a cardiac arrest or they silently leave that's such a beautiful otherwise there's a torture the children get tortured and they think let me put them into the old age home let me rob them you are creating the robbery you force the children to rob because you have not become a profound student of Zen. You have not become a profound student of any beautiful art. You are thinking, I'm already father, I'm mother, I'm grandfather, I don't have to study. You have to study. Only study, you will be able to teach a head of another family. At the same time, you will practice your fencing. No work, no food. Hence, you see, Yamako Tishu was a tutor of the emperor. He was also a master of fencing and a profound student of Zen. All masters, please make sure you must be always a student. At the same time, you must transfer. Yes, you must, company heads also must go. Wear your blue dress and work with the employees. When you work with the employee, you become a student to understand things. Then your factory will have more money where you can share it. His home, Yamako Teshu's home, was the abode of vagabonds. He had but one suit of clothes, for they kept him always poor. Master, fencing master, our the Maneli Gutta, Slum Nelly. Downtown Nelly, Bado Makkal area means family, joint family, family tree disconnect. He was staying in a place where these children, family, joint family, family tree got disconnected. Those children become indisciplined, difficult to connect them. 
So he stays in that place with only one dress. Even though he is a tutor of the emperor, the connecting link. Tutor of the emperor means dresses have got no value. Huge amount of dresses. Money has got no huge amount of money. But you look, he has got only one dress. Like Mother Teresa says, more than three heaven and the earth man is a mother tree says there more mele yavadu itko barudu want to use want to wash want to wear only three dress not more than that if you keep more than that your mind will get corrupted your heart will get corrupted and in the corruption you become a robber to steal from others more than three you must share it the emperor observing how worn his garments were, gave Yamako some money to buy new ones. The next time Yamako appeared, he, was, he wore the same old outfit. What became of the new clothes? Yamako, what became of the new clothes? Yamako asked the emperor, I provided clothes for the children of your majesty, explained Yamako. Seeing the master wearing all, only one cloth every day, old one, like Mother Teresa, only one dress, one to use, one to wash, one to wear. But her clothes have got 32, 36 stitching. If one dress is torn, they stitch it back. Your life is like that. When you fight with your friends, with your husband, with your wife, with the mother and father, ladies, stitch it back. When you forget to stitch it back, you might wear no new clothes. That will be gone. You keep on throwing. Save and spend will not be there. You'll be throwing your money. Hence, mother, keep on stitching. She must be having a dress which has got 32, 36 stitching. Emperor gave money to the master and said, Master, please buy some new clothes. And next day when the master came to teach, he was wearing the same clothes. Next day, Master Barwaga, same dress, sir. Raja Kiva Koba Bondi, the master, Nan Dutu Koti Dosa, the Batita Kola Ke, Yenaita Batigu Adike Yamaka said, I provide clothes for the children of your majesty. I took that money, I, buy, I bought clothes and gave to my children in my locality. I gave to your children, sharing. Why do I need more clothes? This one I can wash it and wear, wash it and wear. But when there is a problem in the society, Nani in Madida, Duttu Takondu, Namde Erin in the Vagabonds, the Huduguru, Yardu Matu Kerala Huduguru, one day, Kaisan Madala Huduguru, Vagabonds. You will also become a vagabond, you will be called a vagabond because per day one improvement in Thorsvik, one improvement. 365 days, 365 improvements in your area. You don't do, you are a vagabond. So those boys, per day one improvement, they are not showing. That boys are called vagabonds. They don't have proper dresses. When they don't have proper dresses, they'll go and steal. They walk around like gangsters. So when the emperor gave money, he went and gave to the children. He bought dresses and gave to them. He bought dresses and gave to them. What did the chicken soup lady told? Then the professor went to ask the... Uh, downtown slum children, 20 years back, you said there is nothing. I don't know what will happen tomorrow. Nala in the future, because daily kwale fight to drinks. Nala in the after 20 years, when the professor went with the students, he found everybody become lawyers, engineers, and all. Shock. 20 years back, you said, what will happen? If you were in the first place, you said, I don't know what will happen. I don't know what will happen. They are lawyers, engineers, doctors. Many, many, many professional fields. That's what they said. So the, all the boys said, it is because of that lady. There was a teacher, old lady. They went to the old lady and asked, Madam, what did you do? She said, I did nothing. I gave them love. <laughs> They all asked, Why are you not going to die? Why are you not going to die? Why are you not going to die? Knifing, shooting you. That Hudugur, what is tomorrow's future? I don't know. The Hudugur is a lawyer. What did you do? She said, I gave them love. I gave them love. Like that, this Yamaoka Sam, what he did it? He, when the emperor gave money, he went and gave clothes. There is no need to convince these vagabonds. Our change is 
what they need is love. He gave them clues. When he, maybe when he gave them clues, they will at least say Namaste. When, when they say Namaste, then he can guide them to the fencing classes or to a right path. I don't need more clothes. I provide the clothes for the children of your majesty. They are all the company heads, factory heads, MDs, chairmen must provide surrounding. Surrounding should be beautiful, otherwise the factory has got no value. Surrounding the factories, you can see so many poor people. Even the people who are working inside the factories are very poor. They are not even taken care. Hence, the factory hits, the political hits. Everybody keeps dying when they are old, suffering because even their own children who has robbed their own father's money, are not respecting and loving them. They are all trying to find out how to rob more money from the parents and enjoy. Not Kaisan, not one day one improvement. If everybody has done one day one improvement, what a beautiful name. Yamago Teshu was a tutor of the emperor. He was also a master of fencing and profound student of Zen. Three, Trimurti. It's very important. When you are very good in your studies, you must make sure you try to find out whether one head is taught beautifully. And at the same time, you must become a student of the three Trimurti is very, very important. And once that three is there, right and left, you can have the path so beautiful.